and here we are for take two. <laughs> Guys, this had to be this is the second take I've had to do this. Basically, the reason my chapter review wasn't out yesterday is because I had basically some directing and video editing and basically some shooting to do. Um, I went all the way to Shoreditch, which is in Liverpool Street near central London yesterday. From I left my house at like eleven o'clock at night. Not 11 o'clock at night, sorry, 11 in the morning, sorry. And then I didn't get back until like 9 o'clock at night. So, like, you know, nearly a good 12 hour day. Um, spent all that day, didn't eat anything, well, hardly anything. So, when I came back in, I was knackered, I was tired, and you guys know all the rest of it. So, that's the reason that my chapter review didn't come out yesterday. I actually did try to record it, you know, because I did really want to give you guys, you know, your review on Wednesday. So, I tried to record it, and to be honest with you, it was just poor. The lighting was terrible, like I looked beat down and mashed down, I was hungry, I was tired, it just weren't going well. So here we are, nonetheless for take two. But I guess you guys have heard enough of me rambling on um, about, you know, what other production things I do outside of YouTube. So nonetheless, I'm here today to give you a chapter review, but always and always right after that intro. Okay. It's your boy Shimigami X, aka your Captain Caps I'm leader of Squad X, and I'm here today to give you your weekly prescribed review of Bleach. Today, what I'm going to be reviewing for you is Bleach Chapter 593. Yes, 593. Bleach Chapter 593, entitled Marching Out the Zombies Part 4. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into this. Alright. Now, I'd like to say from the get-go that this chapter of Bleach was a nice chapter of Bleach. I enjoyed it a lot. Some people say that, you know, maybe it felt short or whatnot, but the only reason that those people would say that this chapter would feel short, what makes this chapter feel short is the fact that it only pertains to basically two characters. That would be, that obviously being Mayuri and uh, Toshiro Hitsugaya, well, zombie Toshiro Hitsugaya. Okay, now the reason I said that this chapter was interesting because I always find Mayuri's battles some of the most interesting battles in Bleach by far, because he doesn't go about defeating his opponents in the typical and traditional way of just, you know, like powering up and cutting them down, releasing Bankai or Shikai and cutting them down. Basically, what Mayuri done here is he administered uh, basically medicine to Toshiro Hitsugaya, which at some, which the point at which he administered it, we don't know. But I have my own predictions about that, which I'll discuss later on in this chapter review. So he administers a, you know, basically a drug slash medicine to Toshiro Hitsugaya, which basically puts him in an infinite loop, basically making him um, go through the events that he's already done over and over again. Almost very, almost and very similar to Izanagi, what we see in Naruto, which Itachi Uchiha does. So the way that this one seemed to work is actually quite self-explanatory. The chapter done a very good job at explaining it, whereas it would repeat certain pages exactly as they were, but obviously change little bits of dialogue here and there. That was very well done by Kubo and very well done by his editors or whoever it is that, you know, finalizes everything. It was very well done and that helps to portray exactly what was going on very clearly and very cleanly. So we see that that uh, Toshiro hits a guy goes through this loop about a good 10 times before he even starts to realize that you know what wait what's going on here and that is one of the most key points in this chapter the fact that Toshiro actually his expression changed and he began to realize that wait I'm going through the same thing over and over again what the hell is going on because as we know that Giselle's power she has the ability to turn you more or less into a mindless zombie where you have no emotions and you can't do anything all you can do basically is fight for her like a mindless drone now Mayuri was very clever with his choice of words because he said that he's using medicine. We all know that medicine is a cure for something. We know that a drug is something that is basically detrimental to you. So Mayuri said that, okay, basically this medicine that he's given him is basically he's testing it out on Hitsugaya and it's for the sake of the serite. So it gives him like increased strength, speed and all the things of that nature. But what else but it's also putting him through an infinite loop but what it's also doing is making him regain his consciousness which is a good thing because you know that there's two states that Giselle can put um, Basically, when she turns someone into a zombie, there's two states that she can put them in. One is either a mindless drone, which she did to Toshiro Hitsugaya, which is why he didn't have a personality, which is why he's moving on so epic and badass, and why he's cutting down people like, you know, Yumachika and Ikaku and uh, Charlotte Kuhon. So, and obviously he went down to cut down Mayuri in the same fashion, but it didn't work because Mayuri administered this medicine to him. So I like that clever choice of words that he used the word medicine, because medicine is a cure for something. And he is being cured of what he's being infected with, which in this case is obviously Giselle's blood. So, nonetheless, let's move on. Now, another reason why I think this chapter was very interesting because he even asked Toshiro, at what point did I administer the medicine to, this medicine to you or the drug to you? And that's where the chapter ends. And I think that that is um, something to pay attention to in this chapter because... Because if you think about it, 
there was there could have been no point where he could have administered this medicine to him. All right, there's only but when I think about it realistically as a chapter reviewer, there's only two points I can think of. All right, my first my first theory is this: one, he administered the medicine to him when he um when Toshiro hits guy cut down Charlotte Kuhon. Who knows? Maybe he got some blood on him and that's how he infected him because we we've, we've seen something like this. He done this before with uh. With what's her name again? Isn't it's not Nanao? Is it? It's not Nanao. I can't remember her name. I read Nemu. Nemu. That's her name. Basically, his lieutenant Nemu. He installed some kind of drug within her. So if you try to overtake her or infect her or corrupt her, you get infected with a drug. So I think that he's done something similar to that with basically the Arankar, um slash Hollows that he's revived. That would make perfect sense because he's done something like this in the past. So bear that in mind. That's one of my theories. Another one of my theories is that when. Toshiro Hitsugaya went to knee him with like the kind of the ice kneecap thing, basically to destroy him. And when uh, Mayuri basically blew off his leg, and he basically overthrew froze it with ice, you know, so he could still use it, and he went Bankai, I think that's when he administered it. Because as the only other point in time where he's actually made contact with him, to the extent where he's able to administer something to him. Because as we saw before, basically what he did, it looked like a napkin, but that napkin was, uh, it was initially solid, so that's why he's able to deflect Toshiro Hitsugaya's knee attack. So. If it's solid, it obviously has some substance to it. I'm not going to go and bother getting into the science here because I think it's irrelevant getting into science behind fiction, but that could be the only two points at which Mayuri Kurosuchi administered this medicine to Toshiro Hitsugaya. And that's my personal belief about it. And I think that this chapter was laid out, organised and structured very, very well, which is what makes this a good chapter. A lot of people say like, oh, but not much happened, but, but a lot did happen. It's not that the chapter itself was short, the chapter itself had, had a decent amount of content, but it's only because it pertained to only two characters and it stuck to one scenario, which is why you guys would probably feel that it's short. This chapter overall is a very good chapter of Bleach, and those are the things that I like about it, is the fact that Mayuri is always bringing something new to the table. Um, so you never know with his battles what is going to happen. It's not the traditional style of Bleach where, oh yeah, you know, power up, release Shikai, Bankai, cut you down. It gets mundane, it gets boring when things happen like that. So, nonetheless, this chapter review is a very good chapter. I'm not going to give it a number rating because, as we know, I don't believe in giving chapters a number rating because I think I believe that... Give, how do I justify giving something, let's say, a 7.5 to an 8? There's no, like, bullet points that are set in stone but beyond all chapters that say, like, okay, if... If a chapter contains this, or it contains story progression of this level, that it should be a 0.5 rather than a 0.0. Do you understand? And that's the reason why I don't give a, rate, a ratings in my chapter review. So I'm going to just say that this chapter is a very good chapter. You guys can depict whether yourself whether that this was you know, a chapter that's better than most chapters in Bleach and whatnot. That's up to you guys to decide. But as a reviewer, I'm saying to you that this chapter is a good read. Um, for, the, for the simple fact that it contains... It didn't contain much story progression. Well, it did, but not much. But we also see like, you know, good character development. Well, not just, I wouldn't even say character development. More like, it was just a good chapter, it was a good read. It didn't really contain much story progression or much character development, I would say. You would say it would pertain character development in this case of Toshiro Hitsugaya because he's getting his, uh, basically, his personality back in a sense because you even see the surprised look in his face. Whereas, where's uh, Giselle, her powers, would basically more or less make them into a mind of zombies with no emotion. Anyways guys, I believe you guys have understood my points and I've rambled on enough. It's your boy Shimigami X, aka your Captain Captain X. I'm leader of Squad X. But before we even um, end this chapter review, you already know what it is. We have to go into promotion time. Alright guys, so it's promotion time. Um, and as we know, I'd like you guys to follow, you know, my Squad X fan page. My Squad X fan page is where I basically tell you what's going to be going on with my chapter, where things are going to possibly be late, where things are going to be on time, where you can expect more videos in one day, um, whether there's going to be a special event that I'm holding on such and such, just like my Zanpakuto unboxings and my subscriber named at last episodes, which I'm going to be doing more of in the future, and obviously the winners of that are still going to receive, you know, their prizes. I haven't forgotten about them. I don't forget these things. I've written them down on my phone. I've written them down on, like, my laptop. I've written them down on my tablet. I've written them down on everything. So there's no way that I'm going to forget and obviously once I go back to university and I settle down and everything I'm gonna send those things first things those are the first things that I'm gonna do so anyways I'd also like you guys to check out Squad Double Zero fan page. Um, Squad Double Zero sorry Squad Double Zero Universe. Squad Double Zero Universe is a page that's not only endorsed by myself it's endorsed by the likes of Charles Anime World, The Elite Ace, Tekken 101, Northside Z, Mr. Antilock, King Recon, and so, so much more. They do things on that channel like, you know, have general discussions with either myself or any of the other famous YouTubers on YouTube. These are things that, um, 
you guys should really engage with to engage with us on a more personal level if you message me on that page or you message me on the personal fan page or the elite ace or whatever or whatever we will respond to you and you know we will ask your questions as best as we can or you know just generally have a chit chat with you because that's what we do at the end of the day we are human and we're not all snobbish we're actually cool people to talk to once you talk to us so don't be afraid to talk to me hit me up in a personal message or anything and we'll respond to you but, I'm, but naturally i can't respond to all of you because you know at the end of the day i do have a life so just hit me up on that page, and yeah. Also, I'd like you guys to check out um, something new that's coming to YouTube. This isn't anything to do with anime or manga, but I think it's something that you guys should check out. And basically, a friend of mine is he's starting to do motivational speeches. Uh, motivational talk. He set up his own YouTube channel, which I've helped him create. Um, so he's going to have episodes, and it's going to be a full-on series. We're going to have interviews with famous people. And it's about motivation, about you know uplifting your spirits and telling you how to be successful. And I believe that... Basically, it's such, it's such a positive thing that, you know, it deserves the attention and support. So I'm going to be supporting it. And obviously, he's going to be doing his hardest. Obviously, I'm going to be behind the editing and all the uh, visual effects and stuff behind it. So you obviously know it's going to be of a good quality and a good standard. So nonetheless, guys, it's your boy Shin Megami X, a.k.a. Captain Captain X. But right after you got a promotion time. So now it's the end of the review and you already know what time it is. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this chapter review by me. Um, I'm sorry that the review has been out late, but as I said before, I had like directing and stuff to do yesterday. I had, I had to be director, cameraman, and basically I had to pick out the location and things. So I had a very big job to do yesterday. So I hope you guys understand that, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this chapter review. It's your boy Shimigami X, aka your Captain Captain X. I'm signing out. That's all my people. Take care and peace. And remember, keep it 99 plus one. You do the math. All right.